Namaste, I'm Alakananda Ma, Ayurvedic doctor and principal of Alandi Ayurveda Gurukula, an Ayurveda school in Boulder, Colorado, where we do a lot of interesting things at our Gurukula. And this year we've been studying Bhagavad Gita and we had so much fun reading in Bhagavad Gita about the three types of food. The students suggested that I share that section with you. So in yoga philosophy, in Hindu philosophy, there are three gunas in case you haven't heard about them. The sattva, rajas and tamas. Sattva is the mode of purity, corresponds to the color white. Rajas is the mode of passion, corresponding to the color red. And tamas is the mode of ignorance and the color black. So while the goal is to pass beyond the three gunas, in order to launch that rocket that takes us into spiritual realization beyond the three gunas, we have to launch that rocket from a good launching pad, which is building a sattvic platform. So that's why we want to emphasize building sattva guna. So today, how do we do with that with food? Let's read from chapter 17 of Bhagavad Gita, beginning with verse 7. Aharastva pisarvasya. Trividho pavati priya, yachnas tapastata dhanam, tesham bedam imam shranu. So there, there are kind food dear to each kind of person. The sattvic person, the majasic person, and the tamasic person. What are the different kinds of food? What kinds of food especially we need to know? A sattvic. Payu sattva balarogya sukha priti vivardhanaha rasya snikta stira ritya ahara sattvika priyaha. So there are very specific foods that are sattvic or that are liked by one who dwells in the mode of purity. And I'm when I first learned this verse decades back, I was so thrilled to find out that sattvic food is good food. I love to cook. I'm a foodie. I love to make delicious food. Well, is that sattvic? What other kinds of food that are sattvic? They are the foods that increase certain things. They, first of all, they increase our favorite word, ayu. They increase our life, our longevity, our quality of life. They increase sattva. They increase that lovely, pure and clear state of mind. They increase bala. Bala. They increase Bala, they increase our strength and they increase arogya, that is health as in disease-free condition that comes to two words put together, bala arogya, uh, strong and disease-free state. Sukha, wow, the food that makes you happy. And you say, oh, that was such a good meal. They increase all those things. They increase our life, our purity, our strength, our health, and our joy. We enjoy that sattvic meal. We're not like, now I gotta have some healthy food. <clears throat> What kinds of food are healthy? Rasya, snigdha, stira, hridya, ahara, sattvika, priya. It is food that is rasya. It is food that is tasty. Isn't that brilliant? 
we get to enjoy tasty food. You don't have to eat super bland, super plain food so that you can feel spiritual, because in order to feel spiritual, you need to have tasty food so you can say, ah, oh, that was such a good meal and it was so tasty. And if like me, you're a cook, go ahead, take that pleasure, that incredible joy of making a tasty meal. It's also interestingly enough, snigda, it is sufficiently oily. This does not mean fatty fried food. Fatty fried food goes over and comes doesn't mean deep fried stuff. Doesn't mean French fries or English fries or Belgian fries or deep fried, uh, I forget what they have, but um, deep, deep fried Twinkies, was that it? I've never seen one, but it's not a deep fried anything. It's having a spoonful of ghee, frying the spices in the ghee and adding it to the food drizzling on some olive oil. It's just enough nice and snig there. So it's not dry and slides down comfortably. And you don't have to eat plain brown rice and chew and chew. You don't have to eat kale chips. I mean, you make kale chips if you like. <laughs> you don't have, they're not really necessarily suspect. It's food that's tasty and sufficiently oily. And it is tira. It's substantial. It's good, substantial meal. And it's hridya. What does hridya mean? It's yummy. Hridya, the hridya is the heart. Yum is the mantra, the bija mantra for the heart chakra, not actually the heart itself. That's ri or rim, but for the heart chakra, we have the mantra yum. So when you eat a sattvic meal, you want to say, yum, 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 because it's a yummy meal. It's yummy. That is haridya. It, it brings that contentment, that satisfaction that you had a meal that's tasty, it's just oily enough, that is substantial filling and Yummy! That's the right kind of food that I should be used within Ayurveda. I was just so happy to learn this. Oh, it's good. It's spiritual to enjoy yummy, delicious food. It's spiritual to want to cook good food that please people. But what do we need to be careful of? What food is rachasic? Katvana lavana tyushna kakshna rukshna vidahina aharat rajase ista loka shoka maya prada. Food that is katu means it's hot like chilies, too many chilies, too much cayenne, too many chili peppers, it's burning hot. It's umla. It's too sour, too much vinegar, too much lemon, it's too sour. It's a lavana, it is very salty. Food should be just salty enough, so it's not insipid, but not highly salty. Ushna, burning your mouth. You know, when you get that pizza and you're really hungry and you don't wait and you take a bite, you just burned your mouth. That's also rajasic. That's ushna. Uh, tikshna. It shouldn't be very sharp. Uh, ruksha. Sorry, kale chips. I've got it in for you. I've never even actually eaten a kale chip. Maybe they're delicious. But it shouldn't be dry. The food should not be dry. You don't even have to live on rice crackers. It shouldn't be dry. Vidahi, shouldn't be burning. These are the kinds of foods, these uh, pungent, sour, salty, excessively hot, sharp, 
dry and burning foods that are liked by those that are rajasic. You know, the people that go to chili pepper eating contests or whatever. And what do they bring? Dukha Shoka Amaya. They bring pain, grief. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten that. I really wish I hadn't eaten that. And disease. In the long run, they will bring disease. What about tamasic food? We never eat tamasic food. That's junk food. Yatayamam gatarasam otiparo shritam chayat uchrishtam apicham mithyam bhojanam tamasapriyam. Food which is stale, uh, food that is tasteless is putrid and rotten food that has been eat food left over from somebody else's plate um and food which is a media food which is impure uh, that is what the tamasic person likes to eat basically if it's rotten, if it's stinking, if you just scraped a little mold off it, if someone hadn't finished their plate and you grabbed their plate and finished it up so it doesn't go to waste, your body's not a trash can. Um, that's the utrishta. Uh, it's not, not tasty, it's tasteless. Basically, overall, fast food, junk food, it comes in this characteristic of tamasic. So there you have it. Those are the three kinds of food in order to build that sattvic launch pad to take off into the spiritual skies beyond the three gunas or to cultivate our taste for that delicious, hearty, yummy, healthy, sattvic food. So enjoy your meals, enjoy cooking. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to click like and tell your friends about it. See you next week. Namaste.